All right, we're going to have a look at the Ranchilio Grind Tech. No one calls it Grind Tech. I do. Uh, Ranchilio Grind Tech Stele Grinder and the display panel in particular and how it's got its own little UI quirks. When you first get this grinder, it is factory set default, uh, factory set to default that is, um, I, I don't know, I think it's eight seconds and six seconds for the two buttons. It doesn't really matter. Um, when you unplug it, it also defaults back to the uh, touchscreen only mode. So this grinder does have a portafilter activation button. You can hear it. Uh, to run the grinder, but um, when you power it on, it's not actually in that mode. It's in touchscreen only mode. So let's power it on right now. You can see what happens. You get a display that has the uh, 0.1 second shot or grind timer, a single cup, a double cup, and a pause button. If I take the portafilter and go and try to activate, nothing happens. If I press and hold the pause button, it's grind on demand until I let go. Uh, if I press the double cup button, it will grind uh, the preset time set for that double cup. And you can pause it by hitting the pause button if you want to knock down the puck. Uh, and then press the pause again to continue. If you press the cup, which is flashing at this moment, it will reset. Same thing with the single cup. Pause. Press that to reset. The, uh, it took me a while to figure out how to get to the portafilter activation mode because a couple of videos online weren't super clear about the process and the manual is a bit confusing about the process. Turns out to get there, oh, before I get there, to program these buttons in the screen only mode, you just press and hold the button, uh, the, the, the cup size you want to do, and then you can go and adjust it there and then press the cup again to set it. Same thing with the single, press and hold, go in, adjust it, and press the cup, and now it's set. Now, to get into the portafilter activation mode, which is the best mode to use on this for espresso, you have to press and hold the pause and the double cup button. Screen will display flash three times, and now it's in that mode. You notice it defaults to zero and a pause. At this point, it's on demand by pressing it. And that's it for that mode. But if you press the double cup button area or the single cup button area, you call up the preset for that. Now in this mode, as long as you're pushing in, it's grinding and counting down the timer. So here, now what I like about this mode is when you get about halfway through, you can knock down the, uh, the grinds a bit and finish the grind. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna show you what the dose is like. Check that out fluffy even right in the middle of the basket this thing doses incredible there you go that's pretty cool um if you want to again if you want to program this mo uh, these shot times you just press and hold the button you get the plus and minus press again to set it Tap over there to get to the, you know, you notice it, that's one of the quirks about this display. Sometimes it doesn't register the touches. Uh, set that one, same thing, you can press and hold it at this point. Um, the pause button, let's find out what it does. Nothing, it just brings you back to the on-demand mode. I actually didn't know that. And to get back to the cup uh, measuring modes, you press that area to get to those settings and they're preset there. This is the best way to use this grinder uh, for espresso. Uh, if you're using the grinder also for drip coffee and other brew methods, you might find that you prefer the, uh, the on-demand mode with the display. Right there. Uh, and then this one here, uh, if you can find a, a bin to, to fit in there and grind into, uh, pressing the pause button just grinds, let go, same thing. I uh, mainly use this grinder for espresso, and uh, yeah, the uh, portafilter activated mode is the best way to go.
Cheers.